Before we begin today's mukbang, I just want to say that the people united will never be defeated. Boricuas and Latinx people stand in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement. Hey, Sofrito lovers, this is Ben Ramos bringing you another mukbang from my palatial home here in the Northwest Bronx. The Bronx is the home of hip hop and salsa. I am bringing you another sandwich collab, you guys. Look, another sandwich collab. Okay, so I know my intros are always long. First and foremost, I want to thank all the new Sofrito lovers that have subscribed. Welcome to the familia, mi gente. Bienvenidos. I'm finally doing this right. I'm finally thanking... Uh, the new subscribers at the very beginning of the video. I'm infamous for forgetting or leaving it to the very end. I am bringing you more sandwiches, more sandwiches. Okay, so before I get into it, this one right here, this one with the sesame seeds is a semita. This one over here with the non-sesame bun, <laughs> the regular Sandwich hero bun is a torta. I am bringing you some Mexican sandwiches. That's right. This Boricua from the Bronx is bringing you some Mexican sandwiches. This semita is, I believe, spiced pork. It has cheese. It has lettuce, tomato, and onions, and avocados. And it has um, the Oaxaca cheese, the, that stringy cheese right here that helps identify it as a semita. Um, let me get into it. Mm. 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 Spicy pork. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Not spicy pork. The the semita is steak. Let me see if I can deconstruct this just a little. Look in here. Oh. Mm. Mmm. Half a sandwich and half of another sandwich. So semitas are amazing because semitas are a very specific type of Mexican sandwich. They have to have three ingredients in order to really be una semita. They have to have the sesame, the sesame seed bun. They have to have the Oaxaca cheese, that nice white cheese that's kind of stringy right here. And it has to have these little wonderful little um, leaves that they put in the sandwich, like these leaves called papalo. Mm. Oh, it is so spicy. It's delicious. It's got onions and lettuce and avocado. Oh. I asked for both my cenita and my torta not to have mayonnaise i hate mayonnaise sometimes they make these sandwiches and they load them up with mayonnaise i am like the diehard mayonnaise hater i think it's nasty as f mm. i'm washing all of this down i'm flipping the script on you guys some diet canada dry cranberry ginger ale mm. In my X-Men Toon Tumblr, this guy right here, this little character right here is Nightcrawler. Mm. This is one of David's favorite drinks. Mm. I'm going to be seeing David next weekend. The quarantine from his California visit is was well, technically over this weekend, but we both actually had to go get tested, make sure everything is fine. You guys know why we were tested. I'm also doing the antibody stuff. So just making sure we're good. So Mira, this is the semita. Mm. So good. This one's a torta. We're gonna be getting into this one. This one is the spicy pork. This one, steak. Semita, steak. The torta is the spicy pork. If you hear any music, it's because I have loud ass neighbors that are outside in the park and they cannot be in the park without blasting the reggaeton, the merengue as loud as they can. 
I don't own any of the rights to any of that music. <laughs> so mira, the torta, like I said, I believe is a spicy pork. Tortas are a little bit different. From what I understand, tortas can be whatever. I have to be careful because these sandwiches are a little slippery and they break apart. It has lettuce, to oh, look, that lettuce, tomato, some jalapenos. Tortas are different than semitas in that tortas can be anything. You throw whatever you want into a, 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 a bun. I think the buns are unique. I forgot what they're called. But tortas can be anything, but semitas must have the seeds. They must have the papalo. Mm. Mm. Que rico. I hope you guys are doing well. This also is part of the June mukbang ASMR collab that's being done by Dolce Foodie and Suave Boom. I did another video at the beginning of the week on Tuesday night, I believe. Mm. I had tasted the KFC Colonel Crispy Nashville Hot Chicken Sandwich. I had never had it before. But today I wanted lunch and I wanted to eat a sandwich. And as I was uh, starting to do this mukbang, I was like, wait a minute. We're still in week one. Let me share these sandwiches with folks. So, mm. so good. I hope you guys are doing well. It's Saturday, kind of hanging out a little bit. It was a pretty light week of work. We're wrapping down, wrapping up the program. Things are ramping down. June 30th is pretty close. That'll be my last day. There is some hope. There has been some interesting news about how some funding is now being diverted uh, for youth programs in the city because I don't know if you guys follow, I'm in New York City and de Blasio, our mayor, is trying to open up the city slowly. Every Monday, starting this Monday, June 8th, more and more folks are going back to work, more and more businesses are being allowed to open. Where are these parents gonna keep their kids who's going to do child care so there's a possibility small possibility money could be diverted back to youth programs and maybe <coughs> <coughs> i'm choking on the hope people <laughs> um went down the wrong way i'm fine there's a slight hope that maybe some youth programs may receive the funding that they're supposed to or parcel funding or something. You never know. June 30th may not be my last day. Who knows? The world of nonprofit funding is very fickle. Anything can change. If de Blasio really wants to open up the city completely by the end of June, lots of parents are going to need childcare because the last day technically of school is the 26th. Who's staying home with all those kids? What are those kids going to be doing? Folks, if you believe in prayer... <laughs> If you chant, believe in prayer, have well wishes. I want you to think about the kids and the parents and the people in New York City that are going to be losing hundreds of thousands of resources because, you know, of these budget cuts. So keep us all in, in your prayers. Keep us all in your good well, well wishes and your chants and all of that. Maybe a ton of us won't have to be unemployed. Mm. So it was a really good week. Got some good news. My roommate went to go get tested for, you know, with everything that's happening. He's negative. David kind of went in the middle of the week. I'm sorry, at the beginning of the week and got um, in the middle of the week his results and he's also negative. Um, I had to go myself towards the middle of the week. So I'm not getting my results until next week. David and I decided that we won't see each other until we're 100% sure that everything is fine. I'm going to start on the torta. This torta is so juicy that it is falling apart. They put a lot of lettuce in this jammy. Okay, so 
Um, quick little aside, I am not the biggest fan of lettuce. Most of the time, I don't like lettuce in, I just, I don't understand why sandwiches are loaded up with lettuce. It's, it's empty. It doesn't taste like anything. Give me more meat, give me more of any other vegetable. But I had to take off like 50 leaves of lettuce from this torta and I'm still taking them off. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, so good. So good. Mmm. Oh. The torta is so delicious. So flavorful. Mmm. So yeah, waiting on my own test results. If everything works out, your next Saturday mukbang might be in my apartment in Washington Heights. Mm. There's just something about the combination of tomatoes, red onions, and jalapenos to me that is amazing. And the avocado adds so much. Oh. And oh, the spicy pork. Folks, oh my God. This is a part of, like I said, the sandwich collab. Next week, we're all supposed to do tacos. I'm thinking of doing something out of the ordinary with the tacos. So... What we Puerto Ricans consider a taco is very different than what all of you think a taco is. Our interpretation of un taco, like for street food and all that in Puerto Rico, very different than what everyone thinks of a taco. Because when we think of tacos, we think of Mexican food and a very specific soft shell, hard shell. There's American style, Tex-Mex, tacos from Mexico, authentic Mexican tacos. There's, there's a whole bunch of imagery that you guys have. But I'm pretty sure none of you either knew that Puerto Ricans, we make tacos too. It's a part of our street food culture. And what we, what we do to make a taco and how we make it and how it's prepared, very, very different. Very different. In fact, I would almost go as far as to say that it's unrecognizable. If I, if I, I am thinking that next week, if I can get it from the Cuchifrito place that's here in the Bronx, I will buy some Puerto Rican tacos and do the mukbang that way. If not, then I'm going to do a regular taco mukbang. But I, I'm thinking if the place that I want to go to, a little Puerto Rican spot on Fordham and Grand Concourse, if they're open, if they're open, they might have Puerto Rican style tacos. I'll buy a couple and do the mukbang. Mm. Oh my God, que rico. Bought two sandwiches, I'm eating half of each one and the other halves for a little bit later. Mmm. So good. Oh. If you hear any loud raining, I've got the window open. New York City is in the beginnings of summertime. You know, technically summer is not starting for a couple of weeks, but you know, New York, we kind of skipped over spring. There was like three or four days of spring everything else was either cold or now becoming hot it has been so muggy and gross but i've got the window open the ac is going to be coming in pretty soon mm. both the sandwiches are bomb but i gotta give it to the samita the samita has some chipotle Seasoning, I believe it's a sauce with the, the 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 steak was cooked in. So smoky, this great tangy, smoky depth of flavor, so delicious. The torta is bomb too, but the semitas got it for me. Mm. Things are good, guys. I'm just rambling. I'm having a good lunch. I love Mexican food. I've talked about this before. Mexican food is one of my comfort foods. I love it. Part of my top five cuisines. In another life, I'll come back as a gorgeous Mexicano. 
not that being a gorgeous boricua cubano hasn't been sexy it's, it's been great but next life i'm gonna come back a hot sexy boricua uh, uh mexicano ah feeling good you guys eating good food it's been a nice day I have to admit that like while I was talking to you guys a little bit about the glimmer of hope for the em employment, got me kind of gassed. I, I, I recognize that it's like a 2% chance that it's gonna happen, but a little bit of hope is better than no hope. Mm. In a couple of days, once I get those results, I'm gonna pack up. I'm going to go spend a couple of days with my bear. So I'm excited to see him, to give him a hugging kiss. I haven't seen him since the end of January. He left like the last week of January. So happy to go be able to see him and give him hugs and kisses and love him up, smooch him up and give him all the love. Mmm. Damn, that sanita was good. Guys, if you've never had Mexican sandwiches, go to a Mexican restaurant, forego the fajitas and the tacos and the burritos. Look up their tortas and see if they make semitas. Not all Mexican places make semitas, but most of them do make tortas. Again, semitas are a little different. I've heard that like some of the Mexican restaurants have served food that is more from like Puebla. They tend to have it. I think that's what I heard. Fact check it. I could be wrong. Google it. But most Mexican places will have tortas. And these are just amazing. Mm. You guys know I love talking about food. Mm. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna poop out right now, guys. I'm gonna finish this real quick. One or two more bites off camera. I'll be done. So, Fito lovers, like, share, subscribe. Mm. Leave me a comment below. What's your favorite type of sandwich? Me, I, I'm a big. I love Mexican sandwiches. I love Vietnamese sandwiches. I love Greek-based sandwiches. I love hitos. I love all, oh my God, love sandwich culture. I always thought to myself, if I ever opened up a restaurant, I would try to find a way to do, do like Boricua slash sandwich fusion. Puerto Ricans, we got our own interesting little sandwiches, but we're not really big on sandwich culture. You know, there's some cultures that have like amazing signature cultural sandwiches. We got like one or two, three. Um, Leave me a message, uh, not a message, I'm sorry. Leave me a comment. Let me know what type of sandwiches you love. I'll see you next week with some tacos. Hopefully, they'll be Puerto Rican tacos. Um, if not, they'll be regular tacos. I just want to continue the solidarity and love with the, the whole June ASMR mukbang collab. Again, thank you to Dolce Foodie and to Suave Boom for bringing us together in this way. I've been loving all of the sandwich videos i've actually subscribed to like a whole ton of asmr mukbang channels loving them a lot thank you for subbing back you guys love being a part of this community follow me on all my social media so frito in my soul facebook twitter and instagram and remember that i have a blog so frito in my soul.com food articles food events food opinions a lot of different things sometimes there are even videos on the the website that are not on this channel so check out my blog love you guys stay home cook or order in and taste for yourself have some at home culinary adventures como siempre mucho amor